Well, when you when you report fake news, no. When you report fake news, which CNN does a lot, you are the enemy of the people. La dichiarazione di guerra è già stata consegnata agli ambassadori. Your fascism takedown of Donald Trump. A preamble. In an essay, we've already shown Donald Trump a fascist. This time, Leslie will conduct a point-by-point -point overview of Donald's Nazism in accordance with the Ur Fascist 14 points as provided by Umberto Eco. The 14 points of Ur Fascism are a highly respected political analysis of Nazism and comparisons with modern movements and figures. While useless for pointing out Neo-Nazism, it is useful for determining classical fascism. I am thus to present Trump as a Nazi from the already established position of him being a neo-Nazi fascist. Let us begin, whereas Trump is assumed to equal Trumpism. Point 1. The Cult of Tradition. One has only to look at the syllabus of every fascist movement to find the major traditionalist thinkers. The Nazi Gnosis was nourished by traditionalist, syncretistic, occult elements. The conservative, that is, the Republican Party has built its propaganda line on the denunciation of social change, with the demographic structure shifting, this is an enemy to all Republican fractions, including Trumpists. Point 2. The Rejection of Modernism The Enlightenment, the Age of Reason, is seen as the beginning of modern depravity. In this sense or fascism can be defined as irrationalism. Dark enlightenment is primarily a definition of Trumpism. His policies are based on misunderstanding of the ideas of liberty, equality, and fraternity. It is only when those ideas, so pesky to him, come in the way, does the platform of hatred shatter, hatred being the basis of Trumpist operations against so many communities. Furthermore, Trump's policies include prohibition of certain enlightened or further developments to constitute certain federal buildings, the brutalism ban. He has decried emancipation of minorities and helped segregationists get their points across. Point 3. The cult of action for action's sake. Action being beautiful in itself, it must be taken before, or without, any previous reflection. Thinking is a form of emasculation. The Trump movement is closely affiliated with movements requesting removal of certain racial, gender or otherwise divergent groups from the United States of America. Those groups are generally Nazistic, they thus reject the idea for the need of justification of a noble lot. They are, thus, directed to an action for action's sake. And as much we can see in the Trumpist movement an action for action's sake. They want to enforce gender functionalism, but, what? They want to enforce race, but, what? Against every consensus. This is an action for action's sake. Point 4. Disagreement is treason. The critical spirit makes distinctions, and to distinguish is a sign of modernism. In modern culture the scientific community praises disagreement as a way to improve knowledge. This can clearly be seen following the 2020 election and the subsequent chain of events, leading to the Cannon Beer Hall push, the Trumpist coup d'etat. During the election fraud campaign, during the Capitol raid, during the second impeachment, all the internal, many times integral members of the Republican Party, the host of Donald Trump, were made to agree with their leader. Those who disagreed with most violent characteristics of the most fanatic groups of the Trumpist ideology, were expunged, threatened with death, and sidelined. They were decried as traitors. Point 5. Fear of difference. The first appeal of a fascist or prematurely fascist movement is an appeal against the intruders. Thus or fascism is racist by definition. Trumpism groups humanity into two them cis, others trans, them white, others POC. We can continue naming such categories for quite a while. 
This distinction is especially clear with the Trump administration perception of Latin American immigrants into the United States. Nearly 180,000 illegal immigrants with criminal records ordered deported from our country are tonight roaming free. They are seen as built on their hatred against who they decry as the intruders. They are racist by definition. Point 6. Appeal to social frustration. One of the most typical features of historical fascism was the appeal to a frustrated middle class, a class suffering from an economic crisis or feelings of political humiliation, and frightened by the pressure of lower social groups. Trump, as beneficial to corporate investors as he is, still appeals to the middle classes using the rhetoric aggressive to those in power or beholden to certain types of estate. He furthermore attempts to portray them as the silent majority and attacks what his supporters named the SJW movement to humiliate equal and human rights activities. Point 7. The obsession with a plot. Thus at the root of the or fascist psychology there is the obsession with a plot, possibly an international one. The followers must feel besieged. Canon and the Cabal. Point 8. The enemy is both strong and weak. By a continuous shifting of rhetorical focus, the enemies are at the same time too strong and too weak. We could clearly see this any time his camp talked of liberalism as a cultural tendency. Or as much when they talked of leftism. To them any opposition to the patriarchy is cultural Marxism. And one who is such is to them both a nerdy weakling and an all-controlling Jew, thus arriving at the strong weak antagonism. Point 9. Pacifism is trafficking with the enemy. For your fascism there is no struggle for life but, rather, life is lived for struggle. Republican opposition to harm reduction is defined by the very idea of life eternally remaining a struggle. Point 10. Contempt for the weak. Elitism is a typical aspect of any reactionary ideology. The whole propaganda machine of the Republican Party, Trumpist, is built on portraying the enemy as weak and forming a cult of personality around individuals to liberate us from the other individuals. Point 11. Everybody is educated to become a hero. In your fascist ideology, heroism is the norm. This cult of heroism is strictly linked with the cult of death. Trump's bills on patriotic education, his denouncement of anti-patriotic media and higher education show contempt for non-heroic education. Point 12. Machismo and weaponry. Machismo implies both disdain for women and intolerance and condemnation of non-standard sexual habits, from chastity to homosexuality. The Proud Boys and the masculinization of extremism and highest level politics shows the first. The aggressive attitude against the left and against gender minorities, in accordance with the rise in violence against queer folks, we can show the latter. Point 13. Selective populism. There is in our future a TV or internet populism, in which the emotional response of a selected group of citizens can be presented and accepted as the voice of the people. This is allowed for by Twitter et comp s echo chambers with the Fox News, and later the pro-Trump dissident networks, and the internet self-perpetuating lies mirroring each other, it unites one single demographic, the governmental one. Point 14. Your fascism speaks newspeak. All the Nazi or fascist school books made use of an impoverished vocabulary, and an elementary syntax, in order to limit the instruments for complex and critical reasoning. This is pretty clearly defined by all the dog whistle words and the dog whistle phrases. Conclusion Trump is a classical Nazi on all points possible, an upscale from the general fascism accusation presented in the If Trump Was Not a Neo-Nazi essay. I thus conclude the trial, returning the verdict of guilty. Now is the time to unite to fight fascism. You fascist!